In this video, we're going to do prime factorizations on the TI-30X Mark IIs. Okay, this calculator does not have a function to break down a composite number to a prime uh, factorization um, method uh, or decomposition. So, uh, we're going to have to do it by hand, but we can use our calculator to help us out. So the first thing we need to know to do prime factorization is these prime numbers. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and it keeps on going. Nobody knows how far it goes. But we do know that 2 is the only even number. Everything else is odd. So the great thing about prime numbers is that you can't break them. These prime numbers cannot be broken down into other numbers. Like, for example, 6 can be broken down into 2 times 3. 2 goes into 6 evenly, 3 goes into 6 evenly, and 6 is composed of prime numbers, but 5 is not. 5 is not broken down. So, for example, 10. Can we do the prime factorization of 10? Yes, we can. Uh, it ends in 0, so we know that 2 goes into 10, so we can use a calculator. 10 divided by 2 equals, and it gives you 5. Okay. All right. So the prime factorization of 10 is equal to 2 times 5. All right, uh, 50. Can we break down 50 into prime uh, numbers to do the prime factorization? Yes, it ends in 0. So we know that 2 goes into 50, so we can type 50 divided by 2, enter. It gives you 25. We can keep going because 5, so I can just say divide, answer, right? Whatever answer there is, is, is going to be up there. Answer divided by 5 gives you another 5. So 50 is equal to 2 times 5 times 5, which is equal to 2 to the 5 squared. And we need to make sure we put a point there. Okay. We know to stop here because when we stop on this, on uh, these um, steps, that it, that it ends up with a prime number. Some of you might see it this way, right, where you have 50 and then you say 2 goes into 50 25 times, uh, 5 goes into uh, 5 goes into 25 5 times, and then you would just draw, you know, the, those numbers. I don't like it this way because it just keeps going to the side, or sometimes I'll miss <clears throat> a prime number. Here, I know that it's outside of these brackets. 350. What's the prime factorization of 350? Now, um, sometimes it's nice to know how far are we going to go, or how far could we go with these prime numbers to make 350. So if you take the square root of 350, it tells you up to what prime number it might come out to be. So here, right, let's take second x squared, right? 350, enter, and it gives you approximately 18.7, um, and so it, it goes up to 19, um, may, well, it won't go into 19, but we'll round it to 19, so 19 might be into 350, but 23 will not be, or something below 19 will be, um, something below 19 will be into 350. And we know that 2 will go into it because it ends up with 0. So 350 divided by 2 equals 175. And then this ends in 5, so we know that 5 goes into 175. So that's 175, just divide by 5, gives you 35. Then we know this ends in 5, so we know that 5 goes into that. So we just say divide by 5, and we know 7. It ends up at 7, and that's a prime number. It, it stops there. So 350 equals 2 times 5 squared times 7. 350 is composed of these prime numbers. Okay. Now, how about 101? Okay. 101. Um, if I go... If I go 101 divided by 2, it doesn't go into it. 101 divided by 3 doesn't go nicely. 
101 divided by 4, or not 4, <laughs> by 5, because that's a prime number, uh, doesn't go into it nicely, does it? Now, how far do I go? So if I took 101 and I took the square root, right? Take the square root and 101. I get approximately 10.04 or 11, right? We know that this number, which might be a composite, will end up to have 11, right? It might have 11 as a prime um, factor into it. So we just did two, right? We did uh, two, three, five, uh, 101 divided by seven. That doesn't go evenly, right? And 101, 101 divided by 11. Doesn't go evenly either. So this one is prime number, okay? That's one way to check it, you know, take two, Go into 101, didn't work. 3, no. 5, no. 7, no. 11, no. And that's it. You, you stop there. You don't have to keep going on. Okay. Now, why would you want to use prime factorizations, right? Let's say you had something like um, 10 over 350. What you can do is you can use prime factorization on 10, and then 350 is also, what, 2 times 5 times 5 times 7, right? These cancel, these cancel, that leaves you with 1 over 35. And if you have the, let you have this ABC button, right? You can do 10 ABC 350 equals, and then you get 1 divided by 35. It reduces. The calculator does that automatically. You can do it with prime factorizations and then reduce it that way. Okay, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please tell your teachers about this. I hope you have a great semester. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.